Hello dear students, how are you? I hope you are doing well at home. Today I am going to share with you an interesting mathematics activity and that is about 3 by 3 magic square. So what is a 3 by 3 magic square? So for this we need to make a grid first and this grid is 3 by 3 grid. So you see that there are 3 rows. We name them as R1, R2 and R3 and there are three columns. We name them as C1, C2, C3 and you will see that there are two diagonals. So this is D1 and this is D2. So what we need to do is if we are given any nine consecutive numbers, in which difference between two consecutive terms is same, then we can make a magic square. What do I mean by that? For example, let me take nine numbers from one to nine. So these are consecutive numbers. Here we see that two minus one is one, three minus two is one. And if we keep on doing like this, then nine minus eight we also get as 1. So there is a common difference, right? So we have to make a magic square using all the digits from 1 to 9. One digit can be placed once. So basically we need to put it in these 9 boxes so that if we add the 3 numbers which will come up in 3 rows or in 3 columns or... Uh, in any of the diagonal then the sum is same that means the numbers which we will have in first row their sum should be equal to the numbers which we put in the second row similarly in the third row same goes for the columns that is c1 c2 and c3 right similarly we will be working on the diagonals. So if we take three numbers in the diagonal and we add them, we should get the same sum. Similarly, if we add three numbers in the second diagonal, we get the same sum. So are you ready to learn the technique? Okay, let me make it. So first step is we will be making a three by three grid. And then what we will do is we will extend the middle boxes. So you can see how we have to extend. Now observe carefully here you will see three diagonals. So this is one, this is two and this is three. And in these three diagonals we are going to put the numbers in this fashion see how we are going to put numbers from 1 to 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so this is first step after that what we will do is we will move 9 from here and right here move 1 from here and right here Similarly, if you see this column, you move 3 from here and 3 we are going to write here. And here we see 7 in the outside box. This we are going to take it here. And then you can cross the extended boxes. And if you try to see the answer, the numbers which you have got in these boxes, here I have 2, 7, 6, you add them. Yes, it is. Sum is coming to be 15. Right? Uh, in the second row, I have 9, 5 and 1. Here also, you see, sum is coming to be 15. Similarly, if you see the third row, the numbers 4, 3 and 8, if we add, we get sum as 15. Check for the diagonals now. 2 plus 9 plus 4. When you add, you get sum as 15. Similarly, 7 plus 5 plus 3. Sum is 15. 
Similarly, 6 plus 1 plus 8, you get sum as 15. Now you add the numbers in the diagonal. 4 plus 5 plus 6. Yes, it is also 15. Similarly, 2 plus 5 plus 8, you get the sum as 15. So this is the basic method of making a 3 by 3 uh, magic square when you are given 9 consecutive numbers. So let me take one more example and here now the numbers are like earlier we took 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What if if I take half of them, right? That means we are taking the fractions. I am taking 1 by 2, then 2 by 2, then 3 by 2, 4 by 2, 5 by 2, 6 by 2, 7 by 2, 8 by 2 and 9 by 2. You will notice that 1 by 2 is 0 0.5, 2 by 2 is 1, 3 by 2 is 1.5 and 4 by 2 is 2, 5 by 2 is 2.5, 6 by 2 is 3, 7 by 2 is 3.5. 8 by 2 is 4 and 9 by 2 is 4.5. So here also you will observe that if you subtract 0 0.5 from 1, you get 0 0.5. Similarly, if you subtract 1 from 1.5, you get 0 0.5 and you keep on doing like this till the end. So 4.5 minus 4 gives us 0 0.5. So here also you will see that there is a common difference between the two consecutive terms. So we will be now making magic square using these nine terms and then we will see what is the magic sum. That is called the magic constant. So here we first make the nine boxes and then we extend the middle boxes and you are going to put the numbers in these diagonals. Okay, I am writing 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, then 2, 2.5, 3, then 3.5, 4, 4.5. Now you tell me where should I put this 0 0.5? Yes, you are right. It will go to this place. Where should I place this 4.5? Very good. It will go here. In the same row, we are just changing their position. Similarly, 1.5 will come here and 3.5 will go here. So here you can see that you have got a magic square. You try to add the numbers in each row and then the numbers in each column you will get same answer. Can you guess what is the answer? Yes, it is 4.5 plus 2 plus 1 that is 7.5. So you add all the numbers in row 1, you get sum as 7.5. Similarly, in second row, sum is 7.5. In the third row, if you add all these numbers, you get sum as 7.5. If you add all these numbers in this first column, you get sum as 7.5. In the second column also, when you add, you get sum as 7.5. In the third column, if you add 4, 3 and 0 0.5, you get sum as 7.5. Similarly, if you notice, in the diagonal also you get the sum the sum in the first diagonal this is 7.5 in the second diagonal also when you add you get the sum as 7.5 isn't it interesting so you take up any nine consecutive numbers and you can make a magic square using this method